Have you ever lost a file on your computer? Not like it got deleted or your hard drive crashed. The file is there, you just can't find it. Both Microsoft Windows and Mac OS X have a great search function to help you find the files you're looking for. Let's take a quick look at how they work. In Microsoft Windows, you can find the search feature in four different places. If you're browsing through your files with Windows Explorer, there's a search box in the top right corner. If you're in a program like Microsoft Word and you try to open a file, there's a similar search box in the top right corner there. By default, both of these search boxes will just search the folder you're currently browsing, plus any subfolders underneath it. But you can expand the search to include the rest of your computer too. The third place you can find search is right in your Start menu in Windows Vista or Windows 7, or in the Start screen in Windows 8. Just start typing here to search all your local drives. And finally, you can get to a search window anytime by holding down your Windows key and pressing the letter F. On a Mac, the search function is called Spotlight, and it's very similar. If you're browsing through your files with the Finder app, you'll see Search in the top right corner. And you'll also see it in the top right corner when you go to open a file from inside most programs. Unlike Windows, these search boxes on the Mac search the entire computer by default, but you can adjust that to just focus on the folder you're currently browsing. There's also a third location where you can find Spotlight in your top menu bar near the right side. And just like on the PC, you can hold down the command key and press F to open a new search window from anywhere. For a basic search on Windows or Mac, just type the words you're looking for. The computer has an index of all the file names on your computer, plus the content and metadata for certain types of files. And when you press enter, it's going to search that index and show you the files whose name or whose content includes those words. In Windows 8, when you search from the start screen, the computer will also show you any programs or any settings related to what you type too. You'll also notice that after you search, the computer gives you some options for things you can do to refine your search. In Windows, you'll see this Add a Search Filter area, or on the Mac, you'll see this bar where you can change your search or press the plus button to filter your search in various ways. Let's look at some pro tips to help you get the most from search. All of these except one work on both Windows and the Mac operating systems. When you type words into the search box, the computer is looking for files with those words in the file name or in the content. For example, if I search for the term invoice, I'm finding files with invoice in the name, as well as other files that must have the word invoice somewhere in their content. Maybe I know the file I'm looking for has invoice in the name, so I want to narrow that down right from the start. Instead of just typing invoice, if I type name colon invoice, it tells search to only show me files with invoice in the name. You can also tell the computer what kind of file you're looking for by adding something like kind colon document or kind colon picture before or after your search terms. Along the same lines, you can add modified colon and a date to tell the computer what date you last saved that file. If you don't know a specific date, you can still narrow it down by typing something like modified colon less than and then a date to tell the computer it was before a certain date. Or use the greater than symbol to tell the computer it was after a certain date. There are similar filters you can add for size. If you know the file you're looking for is bigger than a certain size, use size colon greater than and then the size. You can enter the size as 5 KB for 5 kilobytes, or use MB for megabyte, or GB for gigabyte. This is great if your hard drive is getting full and you're wondering what's taking up so much space. Just use the size colon greater than filter without any other words, and it will show you everything on your computer bigger than that size. The size filter works on Windows, but doesn't work on the Mac but you can still add the size filter to the Mac by clicking the plus symbol and then choosing size from your filter list. Another handy tip, if you type multiple words in the search box, the computer will show you files that contain all of those words, but not necessarily in the order you typed. If you want to find a specific phrase with the words in the right order, put them in quotes. For example, 
searching for Donut Fiesta presentation finds all the documents with the word donut and the word fiesta and the word presentation in them. Searching for Donut Fiesta presentation in quotes will only find documents with that exact phrase. If you want to narrow your search by excluding certain words, put a minus sign or dash in front of the word. For example, searching Donut Fiesta dash invoice will find documents with the words Donut and Fiesta, but which do not contain the word invoice. Remember though, this is not just in the file name, it's in all the content in the file. So if you only want to include documents without invoice in the name, use dash name colon invoice. And sometimes you might want to search for two things. Maybe you can't remember if it was an invoice or a bill you're looking for. Using the word OR in capital letters tells the computer you want to find files with the word invoice or the word bill in them. These tips can really help you find any file on your computer. To make it easy, keep in mind when you're creating files to use file names you can search for in the future. Avoid abbreviations, for example, that you might not remember. And keep in mind that search by default may not search shared drives on your network or your cloud drives from Microsoft, Google, or Dropbox. In some cases, those can be added in your search. Ask us if you aren't sure. And remember to give us a call anytime you need help managing your technology. We're here to help.